Hey everyone! So I just want to start off before I go ahead and introduce this video by saying sorry for the way I look because it is literally zero degrees outside and I've been like outside for the good good hour now and yeah my face is red and dry and it's gross because everywhere in Canada is cold and it sucks. It really does. Okay, anyways, <laughs> moving on, I also wanted to say thank you so much for getting me past 100 subscribers and giving me so many video views, it's just been amazing, and now is my turn to give back to you guys, so at the end of this video, if you guys stick with me, um, you will get a chance to see all about my giveaway that I'm going to be doing for you guys, and I've literally tried to film this video like five times and it just hasn't been working out, and now is time to do it. So this video is basically my drugstore favorites and my giveaway is centered around that as well, um, which I think is pretty cool because it's really great to see different products and what people like from the drugstore, like I find anyways, because drugstore is always the most affordable. If you can't afford high-end makeup, then drugstore it is, and drugstore is always, like, has some great products out there. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the video. All of my stuff is beside me on my bed, and yeah. So I'm going to start off by my face products and what I use for my face. So I have two foundations that I really like. Um, this one I have is the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation. Um, this is very, uh, it's kind of a heavier foundation. I'm almost out of it so you can hardly see it. Um, but it is pretty lightweight wearing. Um, it can look a little bit cakey depending on how you put it on but I use it with my beauty blender and it really like just flawless finish. I used it for my prom last year and I really liked it and I just really recommend this if you're looking for a pretty cheap foundation that's high coverage and it is really good. So this was about six to eight dollars at the drugstore that's at Walmart so I highly recommend it. Next I have is my all-time favorite foundation ever from the drugstore and even from high-end because I've tried like MAC and stuff and it's just not comparable. Um, but this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation and this is literally the perfect foundation. Like it's uh, foundation and then it's primer and concealer all in one so you really don't really you really don't need primer you don't need concealer it's just pretty high coverage um, I love it, and I'm the shade Classic Ivory, which is the second shade up, and if you guys want to see how I apply this, you can check out my last video that I'll have linked down in the description box um, about my winter foundation routine. So, I love, love, love this, and it's about $12 in Canada. Next, I'm going to go ahead and start with my under eye concealers, and I use one mainly. I do have another one, but I don't use it as much, um, but this is the CoverGirl Anole Simply Ageless um, eye concealer and I'm in the color 205 just because the lightest shade because I am very light but uh, I really like this it is such a good formula it's very creamy and it has a very nice consistency and it just really covers up my under eye circles and dark circles and everything like that so I love this and if I'm gonna put on any makeup to go out like today I don't really have much makeup on I will definitely use this and I'll blend it out with one of my higher end products that I like to use with it um, and it just kind of gets rid of the dark circles under there as much as you can without using foundation so I highly recommend this it's about $12 as well next is my face concealer and I have recently kind of discovered this um, maybe the, begin the end of last year um, but this is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer, and um, this is heavy duty concealer as well, so it is very heavy duty, I notice. Um, it is a little bit too pale for me, however, I just blend it out underneath my foundation first, so when I put my foundation on, it will hide my blemishes, but it won't look too pale. Um, because I did get the shade, what is this, Ultra Light, so it is kind of a more pale concealer but it really works and I really recommend it. It's like six dollars. So next I have some uh, loose face powder that I really love from the drugstore and it's NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. I have the color Translucent um, just because I feel like if I have a, like, a loose face powder that isn't translucent it's not gonna look great on me. But I really love um, that this has so much product. It is very easy to get out because it has all the holes on it. I'm trying not to dump it so it doesn't go all over me. Um, but it doesn't leave a white cast on me either, which I find that some loose face powders can. Um, but I really like how it doesn't leave a white cast. So this is great. And it's like 
like not even that expensive. I don't even know. So next, I'm going to go move on to the rest of my face products. So this is by far my favorite drugstore um, bronzer. I love it, love it, love it. So many people rave about it here on YouTube. But it is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And this is in the color Sunny. And it is just such a nice bronzing face powder. Like, I'm not sure how well you can see that. Um... But it just really is good for contouring your face and for giving it a nice warm glow. Um, and yeah, I just really love it. Super cheap, super affordable, and it's great for any skin tone I find. I've used it on multiple people after sanitizing and stuff, but um, I think it works wonders. So the next thing I have is the blush that I use currently, and I just kind of really recently discovered this from the drugstore, but I have to say it's by far my favorite drugstore blush. Like, I've tried um, CoverGirl, and I have another Rimmel blush, or powder brush from Rimmel, and I've tried a couple other ones, not, not very many, but from what I've tried. But this is really cool because it is a liquid cheek tint, cheek tint, can't talk, and this is the Rimmel London Stay Blushed Cheek Tint, and I have the color Peach Flush. And I really like this because you get a lot of product and you don't have to use much at all. Like, I literally put, like, not even, like, a quarter of a dime size amount on my finger and I rub them together and I just, like, rub it out and blend it out on my cheeks with my fingers. And it just gives you a really natural, rosy flush. Um, I really want to pick up some more colors of this to see how those ones look. Um, but this one is by far amazing and I love it. And I got it for $2.50 at Walmart, but I think the price went up to $8, so it's a little bit more expensive. So moving on to eyes, I do have only one like eyeshadow product that I use from the drugstore just because I haven't really tried out many quads and shadows and individual shadows and things like that or palettes. Um, but what I do love from the drugstore is a uh, cream shadow. And this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal. Um, and it's color barely branded. And I literally love this stuff. It's like holy grail eye base eyeshadow when I don't want to wear eyeshadow. Um, but it's just so creamy and so beautiful. This one's kind of... Eh. It's kind of gross. It kind of hardened that part. But it's so nice. It's such a pretty champagne color. I love Barely Branded. I really want to pick up some of the other ones because I know that the other ones are really pretty as well. Um, and what I use to apply this is just a concealer brush because I feel, I feel like that's like the best kind of way to apply it. I'm not sure. Like I don't really have any other brushes, but I like concealer brush with this. But it is so beautiful and it's comparable to the Benefit Creaseless Cream Eyeshadows, um, although not as creamy, but I really like this from the drugstore, and they're about $8, I think, or 6 to $8, I can't really remember, but I love it. So next for eyes, I have two liners that I love. The first one is a stick liner, a pencil liner, and it's the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Eye Pencil, and it just looks like this, and it is literally like my best friend for my waterline and for my um, tight line. Uh, it does, it kind of wears off a little bit, but it's so, it's like just the nicest. It like so creamy and a nice straight line. And what I like about it is that it has a smudger side on the other end, so you can just go ahead and smudge your line as well. And it's really, I like that for under eyes and stuff like that. I don't know. I just really like this pencil. And I recommend it. So next is a liquid felt tip liner. This is on the very, like, this is on the totally affordable side. And this is the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. So what I really love about this is that it is super fine. You can draw a really super fine line, although mine's not straight. And then you can go thicker as you want as well. Uh, this is around $3, I think, from London... No, Shoppers Drug Mart if you guys have that. I know we have them here in Canada, but um, this is just, I love this. Um, it doesn't smudge at all. Like, I can go ahead and rub this and it's not smudging. So that is a perfect for a felt tip liner. Um, it isn't waterproof though, so if you don't want waterproof, don't get it. But I love this felt tip liner. So next is my like literally favorite part of this video because I adore mascaras. Like I think I have like the biggest mascara collection ever. <laughs> Not really, but you know. 
So the first one I just recently discovered from Christmas. My mom got it for me in my stocking and it is the, what is this? The L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Excess. I think that's what it is. I don't know. But I love this mascara. It is literally the best mascara ever. Not really, but my next one is. But I love this because it just has a really long brush um, and then really fine bristles and they're kind of spaced out differently. But it's um, kind of like an hourglass shape, almost like a very figure like that. I don't know how to explain it, but I really like it. I really like the effect it has on my lashes. They get very voluminous and they get very separated too. You do need two coats with this if you want very voluminous lashes and things like that. But other than that, I love it. And my next is my literally holy grail mascara. Like, I love this. I've repurchased this already. Um, this is the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Mascara. This is my best friend. I wear it every day. I have other mascaras, and I choose this over that. Like, even that one, I'll choose it over. But I love how the brush on this one... This is a new one, so it's a little bit... Yeah. I love how the brush is kind of... I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it's, like, scooped in. Because I really like using the flat part on the sides and stuff. Um, where it's kind of more like that um, and then I switch over to the bump to do the voluminous part so I really like that I'm really bad at explaining mascaras just to let you know but if you're looking for a very voluminous mascara that makes your eyes pop and look amazing I highly recommend this it's like six dollars six eight dollars depending where you live so yeah so next is my last drugstore category, and it's lips. So I do have three lip products to show you. That was about to show you two, but I actually have three. Um, and I'm going to start off with the Balm Stain. So if you are going for a more long-lasting lip product, and you want it to stay on pretty much all night, I highly recommend the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. I have the color Cherish. I also have the color Crush, but I don't know where that is. And mine broke. So sad. But I love this. It literally stays on all day. You just have to reapply it if you're like going to eat. But it still stains your lips if you eat and stuff. It's very long wearing. Um, very pretty color. I love this color. It's a really pretty pink color as you can see there. And these are super affordable. And yeah, I just love it. I need to start wearing it again more. So next I have the Maybelline Vivid Lipstick. And I literally love this lipstick. It is so creamy and it's just amazing, very vibrant and bright. And if you want your lips to stand out, I highly recommend this. So I have the colors um, 860 Pink Pop, which is that one right there. And then I also have... Um, what is it called? It's right over there. Shocking Coral 870. So I love, love, love these. They are so creamy, so pigmented, and just perfect. Highly recommend those. And last but not least, I have a Revlon Lip Butter. I have jumped on the bag bandwagon late with these ones, um, but I have Strawberry Shortcake. Love, 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 love. Like, literally so creamy, so perfect, so moisturizing. Um... They just give you the nicest amount of color, and it's just perfect. I love it. I highly recommend getting on the bandwagon if you haven't already, because if you're like me, you jump on light. So, anyways, that is all for my drugstore favorites. So now I want to get a get into, I can't talk today, the giveaway. So I'm going to have two winners for my giveaway. Um, the first is going to be receiving the main prize, and the second will be receiving the secondary prize. So... To enter this giveaway, you must be 18 years of age or have your parents' permission. You can only be living in Canada or the United States just because it is a little bit more expensive for me to ship to elsewhere at the moment, but be expecting more international giveaways as I gain more subscribers. You must be subscribed to me, um, and I will be checking if you're subscribed to me because I can do that. Uh, also, I expect you guys to leave comments down below on what your favorite drugstore item is, what you recommend for me, or any video ideas. So any of those can go. The more you comment, the better. Um, just because I'm going to be basing it on going through comments like that. 
and then picking from a comment just randomly it will be at random so I'm not just gonna be like oh that's a better comment whatever no not gonna do that so it is going to be based randomly and yeah the contest is open as of right now and it's gonna run until February 23rd on tw the 24th I will be announcing the winner so stay tuned for that and yeah I'm super excited for this and I can't wait to show you guys what I picked up so second place is going to be receiving this um, Color Institute makeup edition box thing. I don't really know what to call this, but it does come with the perfect stuff to have to be starting out with makeup. Um, if you're new or if you want to give this as a gift to someone, go for it, whatever. Um, but it comes with all of this stuff as you see in here. This, these are all the eyeshadows it comes with. It comes with um, face powder, nail polish, lip gloss, applicators and brushes, mascara, and as well as an eye pencil. So this is super cool if you're just starting out or anything like that. It also comes with tips on this side of the box and shows you how to get the look on the front. So I haven't tried this myself, but I think it would be perfect for anyone, really. It'd be such a cool prize to get. And for first place, you guys will be receiving some of my favorite drugstore items. So first things first, you're going to be receiving a makeup case. I haven't actually purchased that yet, but trust me, it is going to look beautiful. Um, I only like pretty things, so don't worry. Uh, second thing you're going to be receiving is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in Translucent because I love it. Next, you're going to be receiving the NYC Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. And then you're also going to be receiving the Rimmel Stay Blushed um, Liquid Cheek Tint. And you're all going to be receiving brand new ones. I've purchased most of them. Next, you're going to be receiving the Essence Super Fine Line Eyeliner Pen. And last but not least, you're going to be receiving Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Mascara. And I hope you guys enter and tell your friends about it and get me more subscribers and like this video. And yeah, if you guys want, I don't know what to say. So I hope you guys are super excited for this video. I totally am. Be sure to enter my giveaway, subscribe, comment down below, like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.